Now we're working the latest developments on a deadly fire. One person was killed, another severely burned after flames engulfed a makeshift campsite in the woods. And tonight, investigators continue looking into the cause. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik is live in West Warwick. Well, Mike, from what we've been told, these two victims were sleeping in that camper when this fire broke out last night. And tonight, one victim is dead. The other is badly, badly burned in the hospital. I'm back, uh, train and, uh, Eyewitness video from Stephen Lips shows the severity of that fire. Flames lighting up the night sky. It, it was just 30 feet of flames in the air. That was it. And then we heard the police yelling, is there anybody else in there? Is there anybody else in there? And there was somebody in that abandoned camper when the flames broke out. A 46-year-old man who crews found just outside badly burned. We're told that he later died at Rhode Island Hospital. And Friday, an emotional woman who identifies herself as his fiance went picking through the debris, looking for his backpack. Police tell us the camper right off Robert Street near the bike path often attracts homeless in the area. That's right. There's a lot of homeless people here. No shelters, no nowhere to go. I was except for down there. there. Charlene Bates says she often visits as well. It was not bad. We kept the chill warm. We had food down there, you know. That's it. And this man says the second victim seen here being rushed to the hospital came running to his house for help. His hair was uh, smoldering. And I said, Mike, what happened? He says, I don't know. I woke up and I was on fire. And tonight, those victims' names are not being released at this point, nor is the cause of the fire. Reporting live from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom from West Warwick, I'm Catherine Sotnik. Eyewitness News.